Blackburn, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Admiral Gilday, I want to come to you, if I may. Uh, Naval Support Activity Mid-South in Millington there in Tennessee, and of course we have some of the best uh, personnel there for Navy Recruiting Command and Navy Personnel Command. And we're just so honored to have them there and appreciative of the work that they do. I want to talk with you a little bit about the uh, newly transformed model of uh, recruiting, which you have really pushed back and away from the legacy model and where you had one recruiter for every job. And I like what you're doing with the 1,100 talent acquisition stations supported by 64 talent acquisition onboarding centers and 26 Navy talent acquisition teams. And I understand that this is fully operational now in 2021 when your start date and your target date had been 2023. So um, it is wonderful to see transformative change being implemented and ahead of schedule. And the men and women that have worked on that really deserve a lot of talent. So talk a little bit about how this uh, transformational model with basically the three-person team with the recruiter um, or the scout, the assessor, and the onboarder, how that is working and how you've implemented that. Ma'am, thanks for recognizing our teammates out at Millington. Really, um, really a terrific, uh, terrific group of innovators out there. I'd say two things up front that allow us to, to take a look at how we reimagine recruiting. One was uh, the pandemic. And so we were challenged with, with respect to face-to-face uh, -face contact. And so we began to rely on the digital that much more. And we already had an idea how we were gonna do this in terms of, as you described, transforming the organization. Based on funding from Congress, we were able to accelerate that by three years. We couldn't have done that without the help of this committee and others. And so that is, I think, a real model for when Congress believes that we're in the right track here and they, and, they, and they allow us to fund it, that we can make fundamental changes. Under this new system, we have recruited 54,000 new sailors into the Navy. We have met and exceeded uh, our goals even during the pandemic. So it's relying on small teams uh, that work together very closely and also are leveraging social media and, uh, and, and the digital, as well as e-teams that compete out there where, uh, where the potential uh, recruitable population hangs out, which is, which is in, uh, in the gaming, uh, on the gaming sites. All right, and I want you to drill down a little bit on two things. Number one is how this is helping you get the skilled talent you need for 21st century warfare, and second, how you have used bots and data to help target and to be effective. So the, the, the data has allowed us to understand where the recruitable population uh, resides, not uh, physically, but virtually uh, in, in cyberspace. And so uh, when you think about the gaming community, which is pretty big among my, I have sons that are in college, and it's a pretty big, it's, it's millions, millions of young people that, that, play, uh, that, that play these games online. And so we've created Navy teams that are out there playing and can answer people's questions when they, when they have one. We found uh, in particular with respect to those that are interested in the cyber, uh, cyber field of study, that I have to less, lot, re rely less on their being a college graduate than the fact that they're a good gamer or a good hacker and just are interested in how they can apply their skills in a place like the Navy where they can do some pretty exciting things um, with, if they have the right authorities to, to do so, and that's, uh, that, that's classified, but that, that gets in a higher classification. But, uh, but we have been able to attract, as you mentioned, ma'am, uh, some really sophisticated and, and dedicated uh, patriots into the Navy. 
And I would assume utilizing that type, artificial intelligence, you'll be able to apply that to things such as promotion boards to eliminate bias and to... Yes, ma'am, that, that's a good goal. I would just okay. say that I think it'll take us some time to get there before machines can make those kinds of, uh, in some cases, subjective judgment calls. Um, whether it's on the battlefield or whether it's uh, whether it's in a promotion board, but I certainly think that's in our future and that's the path that we're on. I appreciate that and I commend you and the team at Millington for the way forward on this. Uh, General Berger, I'm going to submit questions for you dealing with China. Secretary Harker, I also have some questions pertaining to China and I will submit those for the record. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Thank